choses de bonnes. What did we talk about, Quinn? What did we just talk about? You're letting Rock Brain get back into you. I can't do it. You can overcome it. You're just no good, is that what you said? Yes. Remember when Daddy showed you that, that paragraph that had words that weren't spelled right, but we could still figure out what they said? Why was that? Do you remember? How can you figure out? Uh, I want to spell the word GMO if I do it in the alphabetic order. Yeah, I get. I could try. No, think so. Well, you won't know so unless you try. So give it a shot, and then I'll see. But if the next time you do that scribbling nonsense, you will have consequences right immediately. So what's it gonna be? You can, there are two more boxes at the bottom that you can start fresh from, and then I can get you another sh another sheet to continue on. Well, then you just use your eraser to erase that letter. You don't mark up the whole page, okay? Or I can cross it out. Well, erasing the letter is probably the best, better thing to do. You know why? Because then you're saving space on the page. You're going to be a page saver. Space saver. Are your legs getting a little wet again? A little sweaty? Is that why you have to put your hands under there? Or is it because your hands are getting too warm? My hands are getting... My I mean, your hands are too cold. My hands are wet. Your hands are wet? You're, oh. Okay, then take a minute, one minute, to put your hands under there, and then you go right back to writing your facts. It's almost 7 o'clock, and then it's going to be time for bed, but you won't be able to go to sleep until you get those done, because you already slept for four hours during the day. Is it done yet? Mm-hmm. Thank you for asking. I'm done. Okay, what would you like step three to be? All right, something else. Okay. How about you do it and then I'll write it on our, our um, step. Here. Thing. I'm going to write things that are simple. Patch. That's fine. Uh, cello. Remember, wait. Cello, but it's spelled C E L L O. Okay, good. In the next box. What can I do next? Well, <gasps> yeah, fun. Well, 
you have to be a little bit more descriptive than that. Because anybody can have fun. So tell us, what kind of fun did he have? Did he get in a spaceship and go to outer, outer space? And played space balls on the moon? He had fun playing it. What playing? Think about yeah, I can't spell play. Are you thinking of words that you know how to spell and those are the ones that you're going to write down? That's not how it works, Quinn. I mean, it does work that way, but... <laughs> the object is that you try to spell words that you don't really know how to spell that well. Oh. Oh. What? Town squats are gonna be next. <sighs> it has to be something descriptive about the story. If you said he has fun or he had fun. That could be about any story. I need to know what's something specific to this book that you just read. Mm -hmm. He, good, that's a good start. I'll leave you alone to think so you don't, I don't interrupt your thinking. <laughs> he. He laughed. That's not descriptive about the story, because anyone can laugh in any story. Peter Pan laughed in his story. Jake laughed in his story. It was called The Singing Sensation, Geronimo Stilton. Yeah. So where did he sing? In the bathtub, in the, in the theater, on the stage? Into a microphone. Where do most people sing? Well, in the bathroom, of course. In the shower. <laughs> or in On the car. On stage. Okay, that's great. Now, what stage was it? Did it? Is there any more descriptive words you can tell me so we can... You know I can't make up a name because there isn't a name. It was just any old stage. Okay, that's good. He sang on a stage. You can do it, bud. I can't. <laughs> Looks like you really want to give Mom a hug, don't you? I don't I don't You're what? I no good. When you are good and you are I am no good. That is a lie. That is not the truth. You are a good person. And we love you, and we would be very sad if you were not here with us. Mm. Please don't throw the pencil again. Mm. He had, you wrote he had, that's great. Uh, uh. Mm. Okay, good. You still have two more to write, but you spelled that perfectly right. Let's take a look. What? What? I can't remember what I was going to say. Okay, well, do you think getting angry like that is going to help you remember? How can you remember, bud? Let's think of some ways you can remember. Well, for starters, you can just kind of go like this and be, be calm. 
and try to think back. Why can't I know? Why can't I write? Did you just forget we were talking about singing on a stage? I don't want to write it because I don't know how to spell singing in stage. Remember, Quinn, that's part of the lesson. Part of the reason why you're writing the book reports is so you can learn how to spell those, those words. And Daddy's here for homework when you're doing work at home. I will help you one-on-one. -on -one. But at school, when you go to first grade next year, there's not going to be any one-on-one -on -one people, adults helping you. So that's why we need to kick it in high gear right now. And mom and dad are going to help you a lot at home more. So when you're in school... I can only say she had fun. No. We're going to write about... That can, keep, that can be one of the facts, one of the facts. 